Alright everyone, I'm gonna show you how to use uh, MTurk, or at least how I use it, um, kind of beginner's way. So I recommend using Google Chrome, let me show you what I typically do. Google Chrome, I log in into my MTurk account, uh, I'm still logged in here so good. Then um, I'll put a link on how to install um, JR Junior Panda Crazy. It's helpful. And then it's right here the MTurk Suite. Um, those are mainly the ones that I use. And if you're using Chrome, usually you want Tamper Monkey so you can uh, add extensions or scripts. Tamper Monkey's an uh, extension, and then you can put scripts in it. Um, so, here, let's get started. So, I'll, I'll open this MTurk first. I'll open the Panda. Uh, usually, usually recommend it to be in the new window. Alright, so this is the Panda Crazy. And then, um, it's MTurk Suites. So, I'll open up the Hit Finder in it. So here's what this looks like. Uh, I use the Panda Crazy, this on the right side, to kind of keep track of all my hits it, that will show up on this little bottom bar over here. Um, oh, if my mic keeps cutting out, it's because I'm using a gaming headset, and I think there's like a there's like a certain threshold when you talk, so like that's why it keeps getting quiet. Alright, so, yeah, like I was saying, your the hits will show up here, so it kind of keeps it organized. And then, okay. But for the MTurk Suite, the hit finder, um, this MTurk Suite is a, has the, is a extension with all these kind of groups with it. So, um, yeah, this is kind of the, the newer way to do it. And I'm Turk. Uh, let's see. So I'm on the Hit Finder. It's my set. It saves my settings. So I think uh, it's normally set at 3,000 milliseconds. So which means and right now it's at 2,000, which really means two, every two seconds it's going to refresh and show the latest hits. So in my settings, I have it filtered. Um, so typically I like to start with surveys. The search term I'll put in survey, um, sort by the newest first, paid size, um, I think that was default 35, um, and then hits available, uh, I think you probably want to set this to 1, but uh, I mean, I'll just keep it at 0, I don't know if it matters, minimum reward, you know, this is how much it'll pay, so I have it set at minimum 20 cents, so if there's a hit that pays 10 cents, it won't even show up on uh, on there. And then, um, minimum requester rating, that's just, a, you know, the rating on the requester from other MTurk workers, and, um, you know, once it's a bad, but, I mean, I'm not picky right at this point, so I keep it at one. And the ones I'm only qualified to work on, I keep that checked. The alerts is where, um, you know, it'll alert you if a new hit becomes available, and then you can go, and then... The new hit so I would set on sound two. Um, you have to click alarm. You see how it says alarm is active, that means it will alarm you. Display and it's just default. Alright, so apply and I'll go ahead and uh, find hits. And I don't know if you can hear the beep, I think you should be able to. But there was a beep, I mean, it did initially just because. Um, Fresh. But these are the, all the available hits right now that's popped up. I was actually working on this this morning, so um, I thought it would keep track of it, but yeah. Um, never mind. But, anyways, here's all the hits. See, did you hear that beep? And then it disappeared because someone grabbed it already. But it'll, um, oh, it keeps coming back. Let me see if I can grab it. 
awesome, I did grab it. So I was able to grab that hit. Um, I used my middle scroll mouse button to click it. And this is the hit that I accepted. I have, it shows up here on my panda. See it says 29 minutes, 49 seconds. So, and it takes approximately five minutes to complete. And it, it's gonna pay 60 cents when I finish it. So, you know, um, right now, this is what this is right here. I'd have to go to this link and I get to work on it. See all those beeps, those are all at <laughs> once. See, uh, like right now, I don't wanna work on this yet. Not quite yet. Um, I can even just X out of this because I can just click this link right here and continue working. I'll show you. Hey. You don't want to put the tab on there around Panda. But anyways, um, it put the survey link back here. But yeah, it's X out of it. But anyways, this is what I typically do. So I'll go through here, um, pick up some hits I want to do, like this three minute one for tw 20 cents. You know, might as well Let's see. And then you'll see it show up there. Uh, survey about crisis. And then you hear that alarm. I missed it um, but that means a new hit showed up um, from all these other ones are the ones that already showed up but yeah here I want to do this for 20 cents uh, and these this I icon here shows kind of do more information about it so like or 20 cents uh, description oh this is the requester the title of the hit um, duration is just how much time you, they're giving you to complete it. This uh, short survey involving answering three to nine questions about an everyday household item. And a few demographic questions. So yeah, so it doesn't seem hard at all. So I'll keep that on there. And then, um, let's see. And this logged hits, yeah, I'll make, I'll maximize it. I'm gonna. I usually like to exit these hits that I already approved, just so you know, doesn't have so many tabs on there. But these are the recent hits that that's on the top part. The bottom part, the logged hits are just overall all the hits that keep sh that have shown up. Like what time? Here's the timestamps. Time they showed up. Sometimes like you know, a hit will come and you won't see it because someone you know grabbed it so fast. So like. This one, I didn't even see this one, this 10, 15 minute hit, because someone grabbed it before I could, because there was only one hit available, and it pays a dollar. That's why someone grabbed it so fast. But what you can do is, um, say I do click it, um, I can see it's not available because someone's working on it right now. I can copy the link, and on my uh, Panda Crazy add job, and then um, I can put the URL or the group ID number. I'm doing the URL, and then I can set it to, um, you know, collect once. Once uh, start collecting is more the batch works. But collect once is you know like a survey. You wanna once it shows up available again, I'll grab it automatically. So um, it's here one of my. So this hit finder is gonna keep finding hits like right like that, and I'll wanna. And I took too long to grab it. Here, someone returned it. I can grab it, and I got it for 50 cents, and it's gonna add on here. And I can work on a hit or survey um, while you know. See how alarms keep going off? That means another one showed up. But here, let's work on this. Um, this one didn't give me that much time to actually complete it. It must be really quick. But here, let's continue working on this. Put it on away from that window. So while I'm working on this survey, this hit, um, you know, read instructions, directions to your participant. Blah, blah. From that, read the question. Agree to the survey. Yes. Gender, male, age range. Right. So while I'm working on this, my hit finder keeps trying to find hits, and if I hear alarm just like that. You know, um, it looks like someone grabbed it really quick. I could accept it and then work on it later. And the cool thing about this Panda Crazy is it prioritizes um, how much, which ones you should work on. It actually accepts it automatically after you finish one, and then um, yeah, and so on. So after I'm done with this, it'll accept. It'll do this one, and then you can start working on that. So here, here's that survey. Do you use social media in your daily life? All 
Alright. So. Um. So here's a example of a survey. Oh, up here shows the total of, um. Oh, it says 475 because I worked on it this morning. I think I earned like $3.50. And then, um. The, the potential. Or what's it called? The. Um. The added amount if I finished all these so you know 60 plus 20 plus 50 cents you know total will be 475 if I finish these three um, I don't know why that my other one didn't show before but yeah anyways uh, so here's the hit I'll follow the link it says to do um, on this instruction in this uh, survey they want you to copy your worker ID all you do is go back to the your mturk you can just click that, copies your ID automatically, and then just paste it right here. And, then, and you know, just gives you a little detail on the survey. You know, I mean, they're all mostly the same. There's usually no attention seeking kind of things here, unless it, you know, I mean, in my experience, but yeah, I agree. I would like to take part. I am a US resident. It, and also, yeah, make sure that you're even able to take it. So. Let's just say uh, research and decision shows that chests are for the kind of few. Um, just whether you actually take the time to read the directions. If not, some results may tell us very much well, to show that you have read the instructions. Please ignore the question below about how you are feeling and instead check only the none of the above option as your answer. So, this was an attention seeker. So, um, see some people might have just skimmed right through that and you know went ahead and started picking answers but um, if you kept to actually reading it um, it says please in our questions below how are you feeling and then it tells you to pick that so yeah, there's no take on it all right so I skipped through the majority of the survey so you didn't have to watch it and um, usually this is how you know that when you're pretty much finished with the survey, it asks you for demographic questions like what's your gender, male, age, uh, 31, next. And I'll tell you, thank you for participating, Secret, so it gives you the completion code, you copy that, um, and then go back to the hit for, for that survey, and um, cop, uh, paste it here in that box. This is, uh, a, a lot of them will have these extra questions here too if you want to qualify for extra hits for them um, I stopped doing them it's optional you don't have to submit it but yeah after you put the code in like that click submit and then there, submit it and then that you earned that 20 cent what or 60 cents I think it was um, and then it accepted the next hit in line with the, the next one that's due so it says it takes about three minutes and you can X out of that survey um, but yeah, um, here, I'll, see, you hear that beep? Let me search here, I'll accept, that means a new hit showed up, I accepted it, and now I add it to my list, and so I can do that later. Um, oops. Thank you. The panda, and it should be on here. Oh, there it is. Two cents for that hit. And then on the top, it keeps track of how much, you know, when you complete it all, you'll have. So right now I'm at 495. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I just keep doing surveys, work on it. And let's say it's uh, um, not really a busy time. Um, dang, I shouldn't have accepted all of these. You know what? Uh, oh, yeah, if you return hits. Uh, you can't work on it anymore, which is why I like hesitant on returning these. Eh, it's okay. Eh, who cares? I'm just re gonna return them. This is just for sampling purposes, anyways. Uh, actually, I'll do this one at least because it's, it's like it's super easy. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah. Actually, I'm just gonna return it. Uh, wait, no. But uh, let's say there's no surveys really showing up 
that you want to do, or it's yeah, it's all used up. It's in the middle of the night, and no, there's no requesters requesting any surveys or whatnot. Um, you can do batch work, which is you know, if you go back to your MTurk, um, the regular MTurk website, um, filter out. I uh, usually want to do what you're qualified for. Uh, I usually you, you, yeah, set it to one cent and apply. gonna return this one actually so don't have to worry about it I've never returned so much before I'll return this okay so I returned all those but yeah like I said if there were no uh, no surveys or anything for you to do and you want to just keep doing something so you're getting paid constantly um, make sure you do these oh yeah apply and then this is how you know their batch work is um uh, oh yeah make sure you list it by was it on there yeah by most hits um see how much how these have so many hits you know that means they'll each one you complete they'll, they'll pay two cents each one of these you complete will pay one set one cent and so on so i'll show you an example uh what to kind of expect from one, uh, how quickly it takes. Oh, yeah, here I've done a few one like one of these before. Um, pays 10 cents each. This one's actually really easy. What this was just at like a thousand or something or so. So, a lot of people are working on it because it, it estimated pays five dollars an hour. Oh, yeah, I have Turkopticon uh, and like some other extensions which is why yours will look different from this if you don't install it but pretty much it shows these extra things like um, how good the requests are at communicating how generous they are fairness promptness so you know um, so that's actually really good rating for this guy whereas compared to like this guy you know like th it doesn't mean they don't pay it's just they feel like it's not worth it or so or, and they don't pay quickly enough or something like that um, but this one is something like people would trust <laughs> So, um, yeah, uh, let's try this one. So, I'll accept it. So, the instruction on this, yeah, I'll show you. You periodically check the quality of your works and ensure it meets our standards. Doing poorly will lead to banning from future hits and, in rare cases, the rejections of work. So, please read and search below carefully. We've we'll shown an image with a marked object and a description of that object tasks to verify the object description is correct and to mark all instances of the described object in the image so um, yeah so you'll click yes or no depending if it you know matches the description so here's an example of a correct description uh, is a marked object a person since a human being and the marked object yeah so you'd say yes here's an example of an incorrect description is a marked object a car a wheeled vehicle uh, adapted to rails or of railroad so in this definition a car is pretty much kind of like a train or something um, and so you'd say no even though it isn't a car that's it doesn't match the description and then after so your test now uh, mark all the same types as you see in the image so like the one that said that you said yes to of you being a human being then you have to click all the ones that um, show a human being and then go to the next one so click next to repeat the task on another image you need to do this process for up to five images to submit it might happen that when you press no or next you see a pop-up to submit it means we want you to submit at this point even if you did not few if you did fewer than five images here's some shortcuts if you need yeah here, let's get started um, kind of what it's like so it's a marked object a clock a time piece that shows the time of day so there's the mark and yeah that's a that is a clock so I'd say yes and then now it's asking me to um, mark all the other clocks in the image including that one so there's one two three four then I don't think I see anything else so if you show hint it'll show that what you can kind of see it what the example showed before Click next it's a marked object, 
a clock, a time for each chosen time of day, obviously no, you say no, go to the next picture. Tomorrow object, a clock, a time for each chosen the time of day, not that, no. Um, a clock, time for each chosen time of day, yes. And so, it's that one, oops. Oh. Um, I think to delete it, uh, oops, you just click it again, oh, no, yeah, delete, left click. So, I mark that clock and then that clock. And other clock so next then smart object clock timepiece yes. that and that next and then the hit is over do you want to submit yep and then that's one hit and I got paid 10 cents for doing those um, doing that so you can do that really quickly and make an average of five you know dollars an hour according to this um, and there's you know oh you can set it to automatically accept the next one so you don't have to keep going through this part, it'll just automatically go to the next hit. Um, where's that setting? There's somewhere. Uh, so. Let's do the next, oh I think I have to accept it first. Let's try that. Oh here it is, the auto accept next hit. Um, so if I click that, um, it'll accept the next hit automatically. So. Yeah, so that's that's what a uh, batch work is. Um, like I said, it's it's good to u utilize if you're you don't really have any more surveys to take. Um, and and while you're doing those batch works, you can um, you know still like I said accept the survey. Like right now, it's just beat for one, but I'm not gonna accept it right now. And yeah, that's it. And then it's pretty easy. And what you can do, you know, with the alarms. You know, like I said, if it's a slow day, there's only you no know, surveys. To set your volume on high, and then you, sh you know, while you're watching TV, you'll hear an alarm. Just go to your computer, accept it real quick, and then work on it. Let's see. Um. Yeah, like I said, I'll include the links on how to install. Um. The ones that I mainly use, like this Panda Crazy, and then this uh, M Turk Suite. Um. Other stuff that's in this Amtrix suite. Here, let's exit out of this. Yeah, this Amtrix suite also has a. Uh, so the hit finder was the one site I showed you. Hit catcher, it's kind of how Panda works. You can add um, like a link or something if you like a requester. And um, if something comes up from them, it'll take it'll pick that up. Um, I don't really use it. Cause, uh, a tracker, pretty much keeping track of how much you've uh, made or was about to make, and so far how much I return. So um, you know, today, I this is how much I was assigned, but I didn't accept them all. Like just recent number, I just returned a whole bunch of them because I didn't want to um, make this recording long or whatever. And so, um, I returned a dollar ninety worth of hits, but the ones that I actually did accept and are pending are um, um, and submit is for a dollar fifteen cents worth, which is only was only ten hits, which is actually pretty good because, um, well, I don't know, depending. One of them was like a dollar, but yeah. And this is a the requester is a more detail on um, those hits that I did. This is history. Um, from, you know, here's this month. The month just started. I didn't have, I didn't even work in, on it until today, actually. <laughs> it's already August third. Um, ending earnings from the previous. Hits, I don't know. But yep, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully that was helpful or useful. Um, yeah. Later.